What's up, Dynasty Bull family? It's Tom at Dynasty Bulls. Coming back with another raw feeding video for you. Uh, just a little. Well, I'm going to tell you what we mixed in this time. We did a little uh, ground beef, uh, Victor dog food, and uh, a little bit of Pro Plan Sport. As you can see in those bowls right there. And uh, what you can't see, I added a little pumpkin. Uh, just to help with their digestion on the, uh, on that end, and also some uh, K9 complete powder that we use uh, somewhere like once a week. Uh, it's give them all their nutrients, uh, prebiotics, probiotics, all that, all that good stuff in one uh, powder. Uh, something a little different we're trying this time. I used to just get extra C to help with their pastures and stuff, but this this uh, mix right here has everything in it, so I just went ahead and got that. Uh, it's also got kelp powder and stuff. I think that helps with like the thyroid and all that, uh, <clears throat> if I if I remember correctly. But yeah, um, but as you can see, they 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 tearing it up. Um, and if you didn't get it on the first one, um, as far as me feeding them on the raised bowls, just to keep their toes tight. Uh, they're not super tight right now, uh, as they're young. But it's just getting them in the, the right mind frame to be able to, to know they're going to have to work for their food as far as on that end. They still going to have to do some more work as far as, you know, training and stuff. But as far as having to get on their toes to eat, uh, instead of it's better to get it done early than later. As you can see, he's on his on his tiptoes. That's what I be trying to say, trying to tell people when I when I give them pups and stuff, try to give them keep them on their toes because it, it gives them the best. You know the best uh future to uh however you want to say it to be able to keep their feet tight because with this breed it's, it does have a, a a good bit of turn feet uh it's in the genetics so but that that is a help as long with that along with that canine powder and stuff and uh getting them vitamin d and stuff uh i haven't gotten them outside as much as the last letter because it's been a little cold uh, on the sunny days, we're going to try to get them out more, but it's our little female right there eating. As you can see, she's all the way up on her toes. Uh, a little bit in the video, I'm going to fix her toe, well, fix her stance a little bit because uh, you kind of want to have them actually standing like they're stacking. Um, I want all my dogs to at least have show potential, even if even if they don't show them, uh, even if it's just a house pit. I don't want a raggedy dog out there, so uh, if I can... With the advice that I give, that it, it helps with that, because it's not just the, the the food bowl; it's actually keeping them on their toes, walking around too. Because in actuality, they only eat or drink a little bit through the day, so you got to kind of, for the most part, train them to keep them on their toes, have them doing stuff, looking up all the time. That even helps their confidence. But like I say, well, you did see me fixing her just to uh, get a a good somewhat stack and. Then it gives a little bit of uh, <clears throat> a little bit of leverage to get into the bow. Uh, that's the little male right there. Uh, his name is Shorty. We named the female that you just saw. We named her uh, Black Rose. Um, this right here, eating right now, is a uh, red. Trying to f figure out what I want to add to that. It, either red fox or red man, but he's a red fun male. Uh, both of those males you just saw are definitely going to be staying here um, the other male I don't know if he was in the video or not I was, I'm just rambling well not rambling but I'm, I'm doing a little voiceover to the video he was the, the white and brenda male he should be leaving this coming week uh, well the beginning of the next week uh, going to get him in shots and stuff they've already been wormed once and then they've already had neopar um, I think it was done. Did it a little bit late this time, but it was done like, matter of fact, this past week, I think f either Friday or Saturday. Uh, it's in my records. I ain't got them in my hand, obviously, but yeah, they they getting them a quick boost on parvo uh, prevention. Uh, along with that, they're going to get their first shots at six weeks and uh, another worming. But that's, the, that's about the earliest. And I, when I say earliest, I mean the earliest. I would let a dog go home in six weeks. Uh, they just starting to get used to eating because we started a little late on this time. But even then, uh, it's just socializ socialization. 
um, you get more benefit staying with the litter and then learning with the litter. But uh, as long as they're in a good home and a family home, they're gonna get that socialization with kids and stuff. But like I say, the the, the raw meat helps a lot in that canine complete. And that's about it on this video. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank y'all.